Hey everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your voice in a video on an iPhone. So the first or the beginning or something that you should have is definitely a video where you speak something. So if you don't have one, just record yourself speaking to your camera on the iPhone and you have a video with your voice. Then the next step is to make sure that you have this third-party video editor. Unfortunately, you cannot do it with the built-in features of the iPhone. You're gonna have to download a third-party app. And I'm pretty sure that there are many apps available. The one that I like to use is called CapCut. If you're following the channel, you've noticed that I talk about a lot of this app. I really like this one, but make sure to download CapCut and start a new project. By the way, this app is free and I am not affiliated with them in any way. I'm just showing you what works and what I like about it. Okay, so what you need to have is some kind of video on your iPhone where you speak, as I said, and what you need to do is to start a new project and bring that video in your timeline. Like you have to put it there for video editing. So let's say it's going to be this video right here. So it literally doesn't matter what it is, just bring it here to this timeline on a cap card. Now the next step is to extract the audio so we can edit it, right? So for this, tap on the video clip and if you scroll through horizontally through all the options and there are actually many effects which you can apply here, but what I want you to do is to find the extract audio button. You can see this kind of square with a play button in the middle. So go ahead and tap on it and another thing pops out of it. So you can see under the video, we have another timeline. So we have the um, visual as well as the audio timeline. So go ahead and click on the one under it, which has a voice or you can see the, um, the audio wave wavelength. So go ahead and tap on it. And once this is selected, you can again in the lower um, scroll bar, you're going to be able to find there some voice effects. So naturally, you just tap on the button and it's going to give you some basic editings, funny, synth, or whatever that is, and retro, so you can scroll through them. However, it really depends on what you want to go with and now it really is up to you to decide what you actually want to end up with. So you can click on, for example, high and it's going to automatically change the pitch as well as timber. So even though you click on one option, it still gives you some ways to customize it. So each of them is just like a different combination of the pitch and timber. So uh, so you can just scroll through it and make the pitch uh, bigger, smaller, whatever you want. I mean, play the video once again and listen to the voice, decide if that's okay, or if you wanna keep on editing it and just play around with the combination until you end up with the funny voice or a changed voice, whatever your end result is. So make sure to do that and you are gonna be done. Once you're finished, once you are happy with the way your voice sounds, you are gonna have to click on the uh, tick icon in the uh, lower right corner to like make sure that it's finished. So go ahead and click on that. After this, click on the share icon in the upper right corner, which basically means that it is the export button and it's gonna export it back to your photos and you're gonna be able to find the edited video with the new voice in your photos app. So it's very simple to do and you're gonna be able to do it with no problems. So that's the explanation and this is everything what I wanted to tell you about it. If you found this video useful and informative, make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, make sure to leave a thumbs up as well and we can see each other in the future. Peace out guys.